In this video tutorial, I want to talk about the closest points uh, tool and how we can use it uh, to produce a tree-like uh, columns, just like you see here. Uh, we will use a freeform surface, just like this. You can see I can deform this surface. And then we will move the columns uh, in different location and we will have a parametric tree-like structure, just as you can see here and we can change everything based on our parameters so basically this video tutorial will talk about the closest points and how you can use it you can find it by double clicking and searching for cp and the closest points uh, remember that, that there's a s here and you can also find it in uh, the uh, vector section and in the point, and here we have the closest points tool. Okay, to start from scratch, uh, I'm going to draw a rectangular surface here and rebuild it up to 30 to 30 UV points, you can increase the point count. And now I'm going to move this up. This is the base surface or the roof. And we can deform it with soft edit surface. And we can easily have a deformed surface here. Okay, so this is the roof and we need uh, some columns underneath the surface. So we can reach up uh, to the surface and then we have the branches. Uh, which will connect to the surface. So I'm going to first of all import this surface, okay? And then I'm going to use the project tool and project the surface onto the ground. And now we have the project on the surface. Okay, we have a, a simple surface here. Now we can use the evaluate surface tool uh, I've talked about the evaluate surface in another grasshopper tutorial, so I'm going to use four different MD sliders to define the starting of the columns. So let's just use four of these. Okay, and we can just connect them. And we can have these. Okay, let's turn this off. So this will be the point of the column. Now uh, what we need is um, we need a panel on the surface because it's uh, important to uh, define the panels on the surface. I'm going to use the launch box tool and use the quad panels, but you can do this for another exercise. Uh, you can choose another panel. So I'm going to use the quad panel so you can understand what happens. Okay, now we can turn this off and define the UV numbers and that's it. Okay, we can change the number so you have the right numbers, okay. So what will happen is the column will come up and then connect to these panels, corners. So let's turn this off again and return to the surface. Uh, we have to calculate the distance between these uh, points and their surface because there is different height here, okay? We have a different height based on the location of the column. So I'm going to use the project point tool and project the points uh, in the Z direction up into the surface. So this surface we have and we have the projected point. You can see when I change the column, we have a different point on the surface. And now we can use the distance tool and calculate the distance between the columns and the projection. And here we have it. We have four different distances between the point of the column, start of the column to the surface. And why I calculated this is because we have to have a smaller uh, column based on the height. So we can use uh, multiplication in the math section and use maybe something like 
80% of this distance. And now we can use the SDL line or the start direction length. Start from the columns, direction is Z. You can see here, okay, and the length will be 80% of the distance between the start of the column and the surface. So we can just change this number based on the uh, height of the column we want. And now we have to reach from these columns up to the quad panels. So let's just turn this off. And for this tutorial, I'm going to use a method. So first I'm going to find the most near panel to the uh, end of the column. So maybe this will be the uh, most near panel. Then I'm going to calculate nine uh, panels near to that uh, center. And then we will uh, have a big uh, okay, panel uh, on the center and then we can connect this to the corners and make this uh, a column structure. But you can also connect this to the small panels if you want and we will have small column structures. Okay, so when we just have an area of these quad panels, we have a cloud of points now. And if we go and use the curve and the point on curve tool, I'm going to go to the end. Okay, and now I'm going to use a CP point. We talked about the CP point or closest point tool. Uh, we we are searching, the point is searching between a cloud. So this is the cloud of points and this is the one which is searching. And you can see that it can easily find the closest point uh, here and here we have it. Okay, uh, we can use this index if we want a single panel. So I'm going to show you this. Uh, let's go and uh, use the list item tool and from the panels we will list item this index so you can see we can easily pick based on the column we have a panel here okay and if you're going to use a small panel we can simply go and uh, on the surface deconstruct brep and explode that surface into the vertex we have. Here we have four vertex for each of these panels. Okay, each of these panels have four vertex in the corner. And now we can connect the end of the column, okay, to these four points. I'm going to go to the curve and use the line. But if I connect this, you can see that the lines are not right. And that is because the if you use the display draw fancy wires, you can see that the first input is in groups, and that is four groups in four corners, and the next one is four points without groups. So basically it will just multiply the connections. I'm going to right click this and use the graphs. I'm going to uh, talk more about groups in the Grasshopper course, so stay tuned if you want to know more about the groups. Uh, and you can see that now I can connect easily to this. Okay, changing the height and changing the location. And it's just snapping to the panels. So what's wrong with this is the uh, single panel is not going to be an, uh, a good one. So I'm going to extend this uh, 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 algorithm to a more numbered panels. So what can we do here is to go here and let's assume that we have these uh, four points. Now we can again search between these clouds and if we have this point uh, as the closest point we have to reach for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we need a nine set of points near to this point including itself so I'm going to use a CP points closest points now remember it has an S and the cloud will be exactly the same the centroids uh, the okay I just connect this to the count so I'm going to cloud and the searching point will be the 
nearest point. Okay. And how many numbers we need. So the closest points is good if you want to find different points here. We can just give a nine number and easily find nine points near the end of the column. You can see I can simply move the column and find nine uh, nine panels near that. Okay, so now we can have the panels. I'm going to use again a list item and choose between the panels and use the index as the number of the panels. So here we go. It's, this is the column. And you can see that we are easily choosing nine of the panels near the end of the column. So this is going to work whenever we change this. Okay, so now what we need is a challenge because we have nine surfaces here for each of these columns. You can see that each column has nine surfaces. We can go and join these. Okay, I'm going to use a uh, okay, join vrep join, join these surfaces together, and now we have a surface here. Okay, join surface. Now we need the corners. Okay, there is no uh, tool in Grasshopper if you want a corner of uh, a BREP because if you type corner, you can see that there's a mesh corners here and also there's a mesh corners on the kangaroo tool. So if you have Rhino 6 and you uh, come up, you can see that we have a kangaroo 2 installed. You can also install this uh, from Food for Rhino. But I will put the installation of the Kangaroo 2 also in the link in the in my website so you can download it. So what we have here is the mesh tool and there's a good tool to have the corners. So this will be a mesh corners. But uh, before uh, we get to this, we need a mesh. So this is a, a solid here, not a solid, a poly surface basically. So I'm going to use a simple mesh. This simple mesh will uh, convert all of your uh, B reps into a mesh here. Okay. And if I give this to the corner, mesh corners, you can see that it will give you the corners. Don't change the angle. You can also change the angle for another uh, thing you want. But you can see we can easily have the four corners here, and that's okay. So we have, okay, let's just get. Here we have four groups of four corners and we're good to go. So that is the uh, just similar to one panel. So we're going to give a line from this one to these corners. But remember, you have to graft this. And here it is. And we can simply change the location of the columns. And you can also change the surface. That's no problem. Okay, let's just delete these surfaces and have a deformation here. Okay. And you can see it just responds to the surface. And at the end, we can make a pipe uh, from the columns line SDL and the lines here. Okay, and we can also have the panels in another layer maybe, and here we go. You can see that you can connect this exactly to the corners, or you can work on the pipe if you want. Okay, so that was a small tutorial of how you can use the closest points tool to simply uh, choose between maybe 9, 10, or even 2 or 3, whatever number you want. You can give a count here, and that will work fine. Okay, thank you for watching, and if you have any comments, uh, feel free to ask, and subscribe to the channel, and thank you.